Look at my man. Hold on. What you doing over here? Getting my clothes ready, clothes steamed. Clothes steamed. <laughs> clothes steamed for what? Um, Callie's daddy and Roman's daddy is outside tonight because it's All Star Week in Seattle. I got invited to an event with the Major League Baseball Player Association. Um, Player Alliance, which is former black major league players coming together and trying to bring more black representation in the major leagues. Okay. In baseball period, so. Well, you black. Well, I'm black, so I'm gonna be there. <laughs> um, and not only like that, I'm gonna be, I got access to interview some legends on my channel, so. Wait, what? <laughs> what? So so Let me see. see who the legends are outside of me. Callie and Romy. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of the name King Griffey Jr. before, but Come on King Griffey Jr. I don't know if you ever heard of the name Derek Jeter before. Wait, but... what? <laughs> Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter? I don't know if you ever heard of Sweetie. the name Pedro Martinez, but Pedro Martinez. Did you Martinez. hear that? Ken Griffey Jr. And Gary Sheffield, man. You know, T.O. and Marshawn Lynch are going to be there too, so that's, you know. So it's a night out, so I'm going to be on the black carpet. I'm actually gonna be doing these interviews on the black carpet, so I'm trying to. This is gonna be cool. To get right now. Trying oh to make sure the outfit is right, outfit is tight. Trying to make sure, you know, I, I can't be on the black. Wait, wait, hold carpet. on. What are we wearing? I see the pants. All right, so we're going with black slacks, and then we're going with the shirt. Uh, hold on, I gotta... Come here, come here. Did you know Daddy's gonna go interview Ken Griffey Jr. We're gonna miss Daddy, but he's gonna go out there and do some cool stuff. Daddy's gotta go out there and do his thing. So for this top, it's business casual, but you know, like I gotta have a little pile. I gotta if I'm like I said, I'm gonna be on a black carpet and literally interviewing people. So I gotta have something. Probably gonna throw on a little, you know, statement something. I'm looking for him right now. Um, so proud of him, y'all. So foul. Got the orange shades on. Like, I mean, you know what? You know what time it is. You know, yeah, you know uh, I mean. Okay, hold so on, y'all. Get, get dressed. Gotta get the hair This one is very excited. The daddy gets to go do some cool stuff, right? This one doesn't quite know what's happening. This one's tired from the day that we had. What are you saying? It's gonna be outside. I gotta put the, the aquaphor on. Be shining a little bit. Be shining, Romy. Look at that. Yeah, you gonna be shining, so you could be shining. <laughs> Daddy gonna shine first. I'll uh, pass the torch to you. To you and Callie. Yeah. Daddy, Daddy put that on. And the uh, uh, not supposed to start yet. Nope. Stop. Nope. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so now I'm wondering why we can't play their music in the second This is not the best moment. <laughs> What would you like to see happen? I know in representation, but how do we get there? What are the steps? Well, I think the uh, the most obvious step is just to uh, work together with all the various groups that are interested in the the same thing. And I just appreciate you and what you're doing and how you're paving the way. Um, I appreciate that very much. It means a lot. Again, like, where did you get your start in media? Uh, after my sophomore year in college, I got an internship writing at the Philadelphia Inquirer. I grew up in Philly, and I was one of 15 kids from around the country 
they got an opportunity. And they threw me in the deep end. I had to swim out. You know anything about soccer? No. Guess what? You're going to learn. And I wound up covering the Philadelphia Adams. who went on to win the North American Soccer League Championship. And Important. Giving them pats on the back. Tough love. But still know you in that corner. You their number one supporter. Love that. Appreciate y'all. Oh, wait. You clean too, though. Hey, you clean. Don't, don't, hey, don't, don't, hey, hey, don't dismiss yourself. You clean too now. He, he got the drip. Wait till you hit that drip up. He got the drip, clean. man. Thank you. Because sure. uh, they, think, they think I'm an uncle up here. So my You're a clean uncle. Me. Uncle Elroy. Uncle, uncle Elroy, we clean all the time. But where we go from here? Like, how do we get more black eyes, more black kids investing in the game of baseball? The thing is, is that, uh, you know, like the players' line says, and I did a lot when I was in Baltimore too. Was I, I, I want kids to play baseball? Yes. I want kids to play sports? Yes. But I want kids to be educated. Yes. I want my people to be educated. Kids started cheering. It was the greatest thing in the world. You know, it was really fun. But I, I can't tell you um, how important. All right, so it's virtually time to leave. It was a dope night last night. You want to check it out? Well, right there. Um, yeah, a lot of vibes, a lot of interviews, a lot of black excellence in the building. Um, what's crazy is there's a lot of major leaguers that I watched growing up that were inspiring to me. Obviously, King Griffey Jr., obviously Gary Sheffield, because I played outfield. So, but also like some of the um, some of the players that are like around my age range that like I watched and were fans of and all that stuff like that were there. I was able to chop it up with them. So super dope event. Now I'm getting ready for the home run derby. Um, <sighs> I got invited to the derby after dark after party. So I'm gonna be outside again tonight. Got home at 1 a.m. this morning. I am so tired, I'm dragging. And now I'm about to do it all over again. Like I'm in college, like what is going on? My closet is a mess right now, but I got the, the official all-star jersey, Julio Rodriguez, my favorite Mariner right now. But I, I'm gonna go with Old Faithful today. Just the blue Seattle jersey. I'm saving the Griffey jersey for the All-Star game tomorrow right there. So I'm going to go with this one. <laughs> two two events. So then for the after party, you know, I'm wear a t-shirt under that. I'm going to wear this hat. Shout out to etc. ETC Tacoma. Um, we got just the, the lime green the lime green jacket from Zara, you know, I'm gonna wear some green cargo. So I'm keeping it green and blue today. So Northwest, but yeah, we out here. So next time you see me, I'll be at the Derby. Outfit change now, on to the event. Like I said, I'm outside tonight.
you'd rather enough? Day three, I feel like a little lead dad because I've been out the last two nights, tired, not sleeping. So now I'm going in comfort, comfort over swag, but it's still swag. We're sitting in the club seats today, so. Grippy hey. damn. I'm gonna check in with you when I get to the park. Back out here for day three with my man. Let's go, let's go. Ready for All -star it. All-star game. Hey, who you got winning? Uh, ALNL. American League, baby. That's what we do. That's right.